Once we were done with our tour at Mammoth Cave, we decided to go out to eat at a place called Five Broke Girls. I've been wanting to go here, so I was quite excited to experience it. We ordered some fried pickles, which were delicious, and after that, we made our way to our next destination, which was Nashville, Tennessee. Look at this fabulous suite. And the bed is made, we haven't touched it at all. And then the view, it's so gorgeous. The view outside. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty outside. And the music is just top notch. The music is from the bathroom TV inside the mirror. This hotel was so fancy that even the toilet paper was super fancy. While we were hanging out in our room, we received a knock on the door and it was the hotel staff wanting to drop off these beautiful chocolates and champagne. Mm -hmm. You did it. Of course. For the lady. This was our night view, and as you can see, the state capitol is very lit up. The hotel that we stayed at was called the Hermitage Hotel, and it's actually quite historic. It's even listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This is the lobby of the hotel, and honestly, I could have spent most of my time here just because of how cozy it felt with the fireplace, with the open seating, with the arches, and the ceiling art. This hotel became one of the first skyscrapers of Nashville. And in the early 1900s, when it started gaining more popularity, it became a common place for people to meet up. People would say, meet me at the Hermitage. This hotel is named after the former U.S. President Andrew Jackson's estate, the Hermitage. His estate is probably 30 minutes away from this location. Since the hotel was located downtown, we decided to walk to dinner to a place called Blue Sushi Saki Grill. And for the first time, we tried charred edamame, and surprisingly, it was very good. And we ordered sushi, of course. I ordered some vegan rolls, which were surprisingly delicious. I would have never guessed they were vegan. And he had two rolls. One of them was called Godzilla, which was incredibly spicy. When we returned to the room, I was surprised by this special delivery. It was this slate stone that had chocolate covered strawberries, white chocolate curls, and blue macaroons. And let me tell you, those blue macaroons were so good. The following morning, we decided to eat breakfast at one of the restaurants that's located on the lower level of the hotel. It's called Drusy and Dar, and they had a very, very good breakfast. We just walked in and we're about to learn more about it. <laughs> And here we are in one of the stables inside of the carriage house at the Bellmead Plantation. They were widely known for their horses because they bred and raced thoroughbred horses. This is also a very historic location. Here's a sign of Bonnie Scotland, a very significant horse because her bloodline carries some very well-known thoroughbred horses like Secretariat. Inside the carriage house, there was also some very well-restored vehicles, old school vehicles. Back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, this structure was used to house vehicles and horses that were used to pull them. The carriage house alone felt massive. I mean, it is so big that even in today's world, they rent the space out for indoor wedding events, receptions, or indoor dinners. Right next to the carriage house is the mansion, and that thing even felt bigger. I mean, it felt like it was three to four times the size of the carriage house. I cannot imagine what it felt like to people back then. If this thing feels big to me today, it must have felt like a city to them back then. Now, I didn't get any kind of confirmation on this one thing, but I have seen houses in the south that were built in the 1800s that would paint their porch ceilings blue to keep wasps away. So I wasn't sure if that was the case here, but I kind of wondered if it was because I didn't see any blue on the house other than these porch ceilings. And I did do the house tour inside, didn't really see much of the blue, so I wondered if that was the same case here. The plantation also has a gift shop, and they have quite the selection when it comes to gifts and souvenirs. 
One of the things that stood out the most to me were these wine holders that were made out of metal and they were shaped into different characters. It was actually quite entertaining to look at each one of them because they were different from the next. If I were to buy a wine at their winery, I would definitely pair it with one of these little cute, funny looking characters. We also went to visit the Parthenon, which was built in 1897 and is a full-scale replica of the real one in Athens, Greece. Our next road trip will take us to another historic location.